93 of our devotional. Um, we're going to go ahead and move into prayer, our reading, and then our lesson for today. Most gracious Father, we come before you thanking you, Lord God, for yet another day. Thanking you, Lord God, for the opportunity to learn more of you. Father, we ask, Lord God, before we go any further, that you will have mercy upon us. Anything that we have said, done, or thought today that was not pleasing in your sight, Father, we ask for your forgiveness in Jesus' name. Father, we ask that nothing that we have done or said or thought, Lord God, will be uh, used as a hindrance, Lord God, to the prayers that we want to pray today and for the lesson that we need to learn for today. So, Father, we ask that you remove every stumbling block, remove everything, Lord God, that is in us that is not of you, so that, Father, our lives may pleasure you, for you are worthy of it all. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Your reading for today comes from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15 through verse 68. And then Luke, chapter 9, verses 57 through chapter 10, verse 24. So the lesson for today comes from the book of Deuteronomy. And um, as we look at it, we we see how, how God has promised his people, a land that was already occupied. There is people already living there. And God promised them this land. He promised to take the ones that were there out and move his people in. And so some may may beg to, to say that that's really not fair, that why would God push one group out to allow his people to move in? I want you to understand a couple of things. First thing is the people that already live there According to the book of Genesis, they were a sinful um, nation. They refused to honor and obey God. And so the punishment for that was that he was going to remove them from the land that they had spent so much time um, building up. He's going to take it from them and give it to the ones that he chose, the ones that he, um, the ones that he, chose as his people and the ones that he had promised that if they obey him, that he would give them this land. So this is about obeying God for who he is and the things that he will do for you to reward you for your obedience. So it wasn't, it wasn't a favoritism, a favoritism type thing. Um, also with this uh, reading for today is that we have to see the fairness of God, that God is, is just in, in, in all that he does for your obedience. He will, he will bless you, bless you. He will lead you. He will guide you. He will do all these things for you as long as you are following him. And because of the grace of Christ that is upon our lives, that grace of Jesus will allow you or will help you do the things that you could normally not do in your own strength. So that's only the grace of Jesus that allows us to, to do things the way that we should do things for God. Because if we do those things that God is asking us to do by the grace of Christ, then there are rewards for those things. There are rewards for our obedience. If you choose not to follow the ways of Christ, if you choose not to obey God at all, there are consequences for disobedience. And so God is fair. So I want you to know how, how loving God is loving. He is caring. He is kind, but he's also fair. If you are not going to obey God, God is not going to reward you with anything. He is going to allow you to be to be in the elements of this world. If you obey God with the help of the Holy Spirit through the, through the grace of Jesus Christ, then there are blessings for you. But everything, everything is conditional. Everything comes from a sense of fairness. And just because you are who you are does not excuse you from obeying God. 
It does not excuse you. So what does that have to do with us? Just as it has been laid out for us right now. Obey God. Enjoy the benefits of a loving father. Disobey God and deal with the elements of the world. So you have a choice. You have a choice. And whatever you choose is the consequences thereof. Choose God, the consequences, him helping you, him guiding you, him leading you, him blessing you. Disobey God, the elements of the world and whatever it has to offer is what you will, what you will deal with. And we all know that famous scripture that the, the, the road to doing whatever you want, however you want to do it, all those things, it leads to death. But following God leads to eternal life. So there are consequences here and there's consequences thereafter. The Bible says that I can do anything I want, but not everything is profitable for me to do. There's a lot of things that I could do and I can do whatever I want. It does not necessarily mean that they, that they are um, breaking a commandment, but it's not all profitable for me to do. And so everything about the kingdom of God is a decision. Do you follow or not? Is it profitable or not? Will it help you be closer to God or not? And so those are decisions that you have to make on a daily basis. And the older you become, the more frequent you have to make those decisions and to hold on to them. But if you can make those decisions now, then as an adult, you'll be able to make those decisions just a bit easier. Amen? Praise God. Most gracious Father, we come before you just thanking you again, God, for the privilege to come before you in prayer. Father, we thank you for your fairness. We thank you, God, that you have no favorites. And we also appreciate you, Lord, for rewarding our obedience in helping us and leading us and guiding us. And Lord God, helping us live a life that is pleasing unto you. Yes, Father, we ask that you give us the grace to seek you first, to give you the grace, Lord God, to, to give us the grace to, to seek you so that we can do what is pleasing unto you. And so that, Lord God, all that we do may honor and glorify your name. And so, Father, we ask, Lord God, that you will just continue to shepherd our hearts so that our hearts, Lord God, may remain with you in the dwelling place that you have for us forevermore. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye, guys. See you next time.